What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can add a video onto your Shopify homepage. So I have already uploaded one video, but uh, the problem was that it was working on desktop and laptop, but not uh, on a mobile phone. So I have solved that problem. So I will be sharing you step by step that how you can resolve that issue and how you can do all the stuff from the very beginning. So currently on my screen, you can see that I have a dummy store here. And here, this is the video, which you can see that uh, it is playing over here. Uh, but I have removed from the code. I will be showing you step by step that how you can do the code in the same way which I did in my customization. So, uh let's get started. So if I will be refreshing this page, then you will no more able to see that video because I have removed that code. So let's go to uh, the home page of this uh, store. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to upload a video onto your Shopify store. So from where you will be getting, uh, first of all, you need to go to this dashboard and on the left bottom, you will be getting settings option. Click over that. And then we have files, click on it. And I have already uploaded one video here. So let me delete this one. I have deleted that. And now I'm going to upload one more new video. So here you need to click on upload files. And then I have one video. I have uploaded that you have to wait for a while. So uh, that video would be uploaded over here. And then you need to copy the link and paste it onto uh, your uh, store. So uh, until this is uploading, let's move ahead with the uh, customization part. So here, you, uh, okay, finally, this is uploaded. So it will, it will be reflecting here and then we can able to uh, copy the link. So let me open this uh, in the new tab. So I have opened that and let me click on customization so that we could continue with the customization part until that is completing. So here you need to click on customize and then you can see that we have all the stuff here. So let me delete this section first so that you should not be confused. So here you can see that I have added one more section. So for, for example, you have only this specific uh, screen and you are interested to add one video. So what you will be going to do is you should uh, click on add section. Then you will be searching here uh, custom HTML. For example, it is not here. Maybe there would be at the bottom. So you should scroll and uh, find this specific thing. So this is the section. So in most of the cases you will find that uh, in uh, some themes you will not able to see this custom HTML. So I will be also solving that problem in the next video. But for now uh, the people who are having this option so you should click over it and then you can see that we have this custom HTML. Uh, so on the right hand side everything has been shown here. So that output is reflecting over here. So for example, I'm deleting this specific content from uh, this custom HTML input box. So you can see that it has been removed from here as well. So let's see over here. Let me refresh this page and see. Uh, actually, this video is uploaded already. So let's continue with the coding part. So first of all, uh, to add this video over here, you need to add a tag which is video, then we have SRC, uh, but before SRC, SRC means source of the video. So before that, I am interested to add a few things. Uh, first one is muted. So muted means the video will remain muted on mobile as well as desktop because uh, Chrome browser or maybe any other browser has the policy that if you are not muting your video, then you cannot uh, auto play. So that means it is compulsory that you have to mute your video and then you could able to implement the auto play option. So here you can see that I have added muted first of all, then you need to add auto play. This is the second, uh, second uh, property. Then you have to add the third property, which is plays in line. So this is the important property that you have to add here. And uh, uh, then, uh, for example, I am adding here controls. Controls means uh, play option. And, and now you can see that we have a dummy video here. Actually, this is uh, just an interface, but not a video. So here, uh, because of writing the controls property, you can see that we have uh, we have uh, audio and screen uh, uh, in order to uh, increase your screen and then other options and play, play button. So these would be uh, over here only because of this control property. 
and then after finally I am going to add src equals to double quotes and inside the double quote I will be pasting the link of the video so that video link is here so uh, I have uploaded video so on the right hand side you will be getting copy link or maybe if there would be any input box here so you should copy the URL and I have just copied and then paste it over here uh, inside the controls so you can see that these double quotes are automatically added so it, uh, these will not have any problem so these are automatically uh, added so that means this is the default uh, functionality so you should add only uh, the src equals to double quotes and here I am going to paste that video so now you can see that uh, on the left hand side the video is too big and uh, that is reflecting here so in order to make it little uh, smaller so you need to decide here the width so width equals to for example I am adding 100% so if I am writing here 100% now you can see that this is a uh, little cleaner so let me save this and then after let me refresh this page so currently you can see that we don't have any video if I am refreshing this page and now the video is showing here and that is autoplay so if you will check on your uh, mobile phone for example I am clicking on inspect then we have this responsive option and here we have iPhone iPad pixel then we have um, uh, galaxy so if I am refreshing this page now you can see that this is autoplayed the video is autoplaying so in the same way if you will be implementing and uh, testing onto your mobile phone then automatically the, you will see that this is uh, autoplaying as well as uh, everything is working fine alright so one last thing that is important so first say example uh, this width is not fit onto uh, your device and you are thinking that you need to add uh, different size for your mobile phone and uh, desktop so if you are writing here 100% so maybe on your desktop screen it fits uh, properly but in your mobile phone it is creating problem like it has more width or something like that so what you can do here is you can add here one ID so I'm going to add here ID equals to or maybe class name class equals to my custom video so I have added a unique class name which is my custom video and then I am going to save these changes and let me move ahead with this specific uh, dashboard and here I am going to add one CSS so click on actions then click on edit code so once you are clicking on edit code then you will be getting this theme dot liquid file click over it and then uh, on any place for example I am writing here on top or maybe uh, not on top uh, you should find this head tag on the bot uh, on, on this specific uh, on uh, few uh, I mean so you should scroll and you will be getting a head tag again this is head tag and I am scrolling it down and down below you can see that this is head tag closed forward slash head the only difference is that this head is uh, not having uh, forward slash and this below head has forward slash so just before this head you should add that specific option so what you will be uh, going to do here is you should add a style tag open and style tag close so uh, please keep in mind that this syntax should be correct so style and then style only difference is uh, on the uh, closing tag this is closing means forward slash inside of it I am going to write the I, uh, class name which was uh, this one my custom video so make sure that you should not uh, do any spelling mistake then after you should add a dot of, uh, before adding this uh, class name so you can see that I have added dot my dash custom dash video then you have to add here the width but the problem is uh, for example I am adding here uh, width 150% uh, or maybe uh, only 80% 70% for example alright so I am adding 70% uh, so this CSS will apply to all the screens all the screen means smaller bigger everyone 
so for example I am going to save these changes and let's see the changes here so you can see that this is 100% if I am refreshing this page and now you will find a little change you, you can see that this is 70% I mean, I mean little smaller you can uh, see the dis uh, difference now you need to decide a screen size so how you will be uh, doing here is uh, you should go again here and here we are going to add a media query so at the rate media only screens so if you are not uh, satisfied with this you can also search here uh, media query CSS so here you will be getting the hint that how you can write this so you can copy this line from here so I am going to add that specific line here all right media only screen and max width so for mobile phones uh, if you wanted to add uh, then you should uh, write here 800 800 means below 800 maximum size would be 800 and minimum whatever would be so this CSS would apply so I'm going to uh, cut that CSS and paste it inside this media query so make sure that this is a curly brace and this is a curly brace inside of it I have written this property so that means if my mobile phone uh, device size would be less than or equal to 800 then this CSS will apply so for example I am saving these changes and let me refresh this page again now you can see that this is 100% why because if I am uh, making this screen little smaller then this uh, screen size would be reduced so now you can see that this is not 100% so this is little smaller so for say example you want that uh, for smaller screens it should be 100% and for bigger screens it should be different so what you will be doing here is uh, let me save these changes so this is for smaller screens so let me refresh this page and now you will find that this for smaller screen this is 100% so first example I am duplicating this tab and now this is the larger screen so in order to reduce or increase the size for larger screens so uh, you should only copy this inside CSS and paste it before that so you, sh so you should not add media query so media query I added only for uh, mobile devices and for rest of the uh, sizes it would remain 70% alright for example I am adding here 70% so now if I will refresh this page you will find that for bigger screens the size is smaller and for smaller screens the size is 100% so if you are facing the problem in terms of width so what you will be doing here is you will only increase or decrease this specific percentage 100% for example you are thinking that this is smaller so you should add 150% uh, 200% so in the same way if you wanted to increase or decrease this size so you can add here 70% 80% 90 100 or maybe if you want smaller then you can also add here 50 50% so why I mentioned this CSS and this code is because in some cases uh, you will have different uh, different uh, different themes so because of that uh, maybe your video is smaller or more bigger so you are interested to reduce the size according to your choice so in that way you will have to add this kind of CSS so if you are, are adding this CSS then you have the option to remove this CSS uh, this width so if I am removing this width 100% then it will still work so wait for a while I have removed that so now you can see that again this works if I am refreshing this page now you can see that this uh, this thing again works so that means you will have the option to remove width from this tag alright otherwise you can keep this uh, but my suggestion is that uh, uh, if you are adding only here width equal to 100% and you are thinking that uh, screen size is okay like in my case uh, on mobile and desktop both were okay so I have no need to add this extra code but if you are thinking that this is not okay and you want different sizes for your screens like mobile device and desktop so you should add this CSS so starting from style ending from style 
and ending at style and then keeping just before head tag so whatever would be before uh, head tag so you should just click uh, press the enter key and before that this type of code you should add so make sure that you should avoid all the spelling mistakes because in that way you will be facing the issue but if, if still you are thinking that you have the problem you can ask me the questions in the comment section i will definitely try my best to reply you as soon as possible and one more option is that if you are thinking that you are not able to do so you can send me the message uh, that you are not able to do so i will be connecting with you and helping you out with uh, the problems all right so if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video